Ladies and gentlemen, what's chilling dudes? It's Tobo here and welcome to the first episode of Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved the single player series with your ever lovable Kiwi of course Torbray. A quick quick mention before we start. I'm a part of a group called Hypermine and I know that Hypermine has a modder server with the Feed the Beast Infinity Evolved pack already installed on there and already has Hyperminers playing on that server but I kind of have a little bit of a bad connection to that server so I wanted to do my own single player series take everything at my own pace so the world is called New Zealand Evolved because I had a modded which was my first ever modded let's play world apart from like life and life in the woods and life in the woods isn't really a modded world <laughs> so I really pre-generated this so it would be a little bit easier to load up but welcome to the world uh, this entire series I do want to use a texture pack as well just so it's not completely familiar with vanilla I like the vanilla textures it's just I never really play with a texture pack and I think that a texture pack combined with all the mods could really bring an awesome experience into this but without a further ado let's go chop down the tree or so oh wait I need to go over my inventory there we go Oh, by the way, my you might be wondering why my username is Keith, and that's because this is my second account, and I thought it'd be really cool if I had a different skin in this modded world. So this is my w skin I've made like a couple, few years ago. That's my archaeology skin. It's got like an archaeology hat and archaeology uniform, and I've just chucked it on my second account. So my main account's got to be on all the vanilla stuff still, and it and it's main skin and playing in 1.8 and such and then my second account will be on the modded server and I think this will be, oh not modded server, the modded world and I, I think it should be a lot of fun um, <laughs> everything's a new change for me which I really adore actually I really like how everything's new alright how do you start off any world with a wooden pick let's go get some cobble uh, what do we need? We need an axe, we need a sword, and we need a stronger pick. Bang. And bang. And let's go get some more sticks. But the goal of the series is going to be learning all about the mods which I don't have too much experience with. Oh. And... Bang! There we go. Hey, cow. Meow. <laughs> oh, did I get a hat? Oh! Cat in a hat. Okay, that hat does not look good on me, actually. I'm going to get rid of it. How do I get rid of it? No. Oh, gosh. No! No hat! There we go. Done. Done. We're fine. We're fine. I do want to learn all about those new major mods. Oh, not new ones. The ones which have been around a while. Because I've played with the mod packs. I've just never really gotten into all of the mods um, I've been very much technical oh the one big one which I really want to get into is industrial craft that's a route I never go through I've always gone through the RF uh, the RF routes so it would be um, thermal, thermal foundations and ender IO and pretty much those those two are like Combine, oh, and the other one, Minecraft uh, Foundations, I think it's called. Oh, Mine Factory Reloaded. I got not close. I didn't get close. Sweet, that should be enough for food. Got to go chop down a few more trees as well. I really like this um, spawning location. And I will be honest, I have actually like got another world. Like I had a previous survival world. But I lost the footage because I was terrible with recording footage. But it was in a really ugly place and I didn't have a sticker pack so it wasn't so beautiful. And in the creative world as well. Um, <laughs> in the creative world I spawned on like a hill, like a mountain. That didn't look very nice either. Alright, how much wood do we need? And why am I not collecting that wood? Oh, it's falling all up here! Oh! Uh, one thing which I like about single player over multiplayer 
I don't know how long this world, like, this series is going to last, because I'm not sure how long, like, how long this world is going to be good on my computer. If it eventually gets too laggy, I'm going to have to go drop it. Um, I like how you instantly get all of the, like, items back, though. Because as a New Zealander, I have such bad latency problems with servers in particular. Oh, no, I want that. No. Oh, I can't reach it. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, we'll give her a few more. We'll... Hmm. Oh, actually, one thing I really like is on the top, you get... Well, I can see myself that uh, I can see what sort of progress I am to breaking these sort of blocks, like a wood, for example. I'm never really... If I'm looking at the block, I... I don't have to look at the block to know where I'm at. We're breaking a block. Sweet. I don't know how much fruit that is. We should be getting good, though. Alright, I'm gonna go set up a little bit of a area so we can go keep like storage and such, and I'll be back in a second. Alright, welcome to my little humble abode. Um, I just decorated an island a little bit with oak planks and oak stairs so we can get up from the ocean. And, yeah, just got some torches around. I found some coal like, lying around. And then you just get up like that. I got a little waypoint here. And yeah, I pretty much just cooked all my food. I'm ready to go. During that uh, interval, I've actually done one other thing, which I probably should have done uh, before I actually started, which is I installed one final mod, which isn't a part of the FTB Infinity Evolved pack. Well, OptiFine isn't either, but I've actually installed Dynamic Lights by Atomic Striker. And the Dynamic Lights is uh, any handheld torches, for example, um, or any, like if I drop a torch on the ground, it emits light. Now it doesn't emit light which will stop mobs from uh, spawning for example, but it will just provide light for us. So hopefully it will create a much better atmosphere for like a YouTube series for example, and it will just look really nice. But anyway, let's go try and find a cave. Looks like there might be one over here actually. We'll see if we can get a little bit of caving done, and then I'll pretty much just cut like the rest of it. And don't see anything. I don't see any caves around. Huh. Funny. I, I'd imagine that they'd all be popping out, like wanting me to go explore them. Hey, Torbada, have you, you haven't explored me yet? Come on, come on, come this way, come. No, there doesn't seem to be any around. Hmm. I'll cut till I find one. Oh, never mind. I found one. Okay. Oh, 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 look at this. Look. This is the dynamic lights by uh, Striker. Yeah, Atomic Striker. So, this isn't actual real light, but this is just light that we can see. And if I drop a torch here, for example, it's lit. It's amazing. I love the mod so much. I play with it in the Life, for, uh, Life in the Woods pack. What the, what the goose is this? Copper? That's copper? Oh my gosh. I like this texture pack already. So I'm going to provide a link in the description to Dynamic Lights uh, because I know it's not a part of the uh, FTP uh, Infinity Evolved pack. Uh, is there anything else here? Uh, I guess not. I can't tell anymore. Oh, I've got a sleeping bag by the way as well. <laughs> I killed enough sheep for that one. Um, the other one, the other mod which is an official part of FTP Infinity Evolved um, is Optifine. So I'm using Optifine as well. Oh gosh, oh damn, I did not expect that. <laughs> uh, we will walk this way, ignore it a little bit, and I think this, yeah, the cave dead ends. Ugh. Or we could go, we could probably explore uh, the lava to see if there's anything underneath there. Hmm. It's actually kind of cool, um, if you break the, if you break like the torches, like the break the block underneath and you don't pick up the item then it will still provide light which is what I kinda just saw I was like why is it still lit? okay so there's a little bit more cobble and we can go explore the lava pool I'm gonna do a decent amount of basics uh, for the first episode if you don't wanna watch it then you could just like skip ahead um, it's gotta be pretty much just setting up a few machines or so Hmm. What's uh, by the lava pool? 
Nothing at all. Nothing of interest. Well, okay, I'm gonna go cut until I find somewhere different with more ores. I'll be back in a second, guys. Alright, I've been caving for a little bit. Uh, not in the best of caves, but I do now have an iron pick, so that's nice. My goal for this caving, anyway, is to go get redstone, because redstone is so important. But it's pretty much just been copper and iron. I've got iron in the, um, in the furnace right now. I've got 49 copper. I don't need 49 copper, I need redstone. But this cave doesn't go that far. No. I need to go find a new cave. Which is annoying to say the least. Ugh. Whatever. I should have enough for like some armor anyway. I don't know where I am even. Like this is pretty much explored. I just got one more section of the cave to go. But I think I do need to go find another part of the cave. Let's see how this looks on me. Iron helmet. Yeah. No. No. <laughs> no, I just look odd. I look like a peasant or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back. When caving a little bit more, I've got full iron armor, so I am a beautiful shining white knight. Um, I found some cool things, stuff. I found some lapis over here. That's really good. I'm sure we'll be using lapis later on. Boom. Lapis. Uh, that's silver. We need silver. I'm still getting used to a lot of these textures. And actually down here is something which I want to show. Because I didn't actually realize what it was until I uh, walked up to it. Uh, okay, that's ruby. This is diamond. I didn't actually realize I, I'd found diamond until I like, walked up to it. But, yeah. Diamond. Woo! Diamonds. Four diamonds. Four diamonds. And lapis. Don't forget the lapis. I like lapis. Five le uh, five diamonds would have been nice. Oh, six diamonds. You know, <laughs> any number of diamonds would have been nice. Oh, is that redstone? Oh, that's redstone. Oh, okay. I didn't realize. Because I'm thinking, you know, you need five diamonds for an enchanting table. I would have liked a sixth one as well. Aww. Aww, I had to break. <sighs> Whatever. And a sixth one for a golden bag of holding. Because I know you need a diamond for that as well as gold. I don't think I have any gold on me. I don't have any iron on me either. I use my iron to go smart up. Uh, to make a bucket. Which one's iron? Uh, your iron. Sweet. Sweet, I'm going to spend a little bit more time here. And I will meet you guys back at the base. And I'll bring all of this stuff with me. Ugh, I'm back from my expedition. I've got a diamond pick now. Because everything I got is in this iron chest right here. Sweet, so, oh, apart from the logs, I've got 18 obsidian. Uh, I found 16 diamonds. Uh, three went into the pick, but 13. So very happy about that. Uh, we will be able to get enchantments. Uh, Ender pearl from a loot bag, gold ingot from a loot bag, and then in terms of uh, mining stuff, uh, Got quite a bit of cobblestone actually, I compressed uh, some of it. Uh, got a lot of redstone, redstone blocks and just redstone. Silver, quite a bit. Uh, iron, just take it a bit. Lead, stack it a bit. Tin, stack it a bit. Copper, not quite a stack. Ferrous, nine. Aluminium, four. Gunpowder, iron ingots, etc. And only five gold. I was looking for a little bit more gold, but I guess five is going to have to do. Now, what will do is we'll work on making a pulverizer. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to power the pulverizer with. It's either going to be a survivalist generator or it's going to be uh, a redstone furnace. I think it's going to be the redstone furnace though. But do we have enough for a leadstone? Uh, no, we'll go for the pulverizer first. Okay. Oh, never mind. Need flint. Alright. Uh, I'm going to get some flint. Alright, I got some flint and I also got uh, some bricks and I also got some Groot because I know we need Groot for a Tinker Smeltery eventually. But I've pretty much got all the components sorted for uh, a furnace generator and a pulverizer. Now, I don't really mind about the using coal for like a furnace, but I do want to get the maximum amount of ores I can from my... Uh, uh, ingots from it all, sorry. So we are going to go make a pulverizer. I think I've got everything mostly set up anyway. I think I still need the machine basic frame. Okay, there we go. That's 
good. I had the tin gear. I think this is it. Yeah, that's it for the pulverizer. Sweet, we can chuck that. I actually, just before I say anything, uh, just before I like continue, I really do like a lot of these textures. Like these furnaces currently smelting. Like this animated texture looks so, so good in the Jason, uh, what is it, the John Smith texture pack? This is a day after, by the way. I might be a little bit um, unfamiliar with the things which I'm currently doing. Sweet, so that's the pulverizer, but the still needs power. So I've also went ahead and did a little bit of gathering for the furnace generator. And if we... Oh, we need a furnace. I don't think I have enough... I've got some cobblestone in here, plus I've got the uh, compressed cobblestone as well. I think this should be enough for a furnace generator. If we go to do that... No, what am I missing? I'm actually annoyed by the fact that it doesn't ever show you what you're missing. Am I missing iron? I think I might be missing iron actually. Ah, oh, one, two, three. Hold on, we we gotta go wait for the iron to smelt. Yeah, I also cleared out a little bit of, of this land as well, just to, like give me some space to work with. Also found some sugar canes when I went uh, to go get some gravel. So what we can quickly do while we're waiting is we could create our enchanting table. So we do that, and that. I'm still really getting used to a lot of these textures. Obsidian tiles? Huh. Never knew that existed. That's something we'll have to look into since it's Formcraft. Enchanting table. Keepers and the enchanter. Yeah, baby. And we might as well go enchant some stuff. <laughs> the, this enchanting looks amazing. Just saying. Sharpness one. Uh, power one. I got a 9 shovel, efficiency 1, screw it, let's do the stone axe, efficiency 1, and bang, I really like the uh, the armor in the inventory slots anyway, and bang, feather falling, oh beautiful, beautiful, I'm fully enchanted anyway, not the best of enchantments, but you don't really need the best of enchantments uh, when you're just starting off, alright, this should be enough for the furnace generator now, bang, there we go, and we'll just chuck it there. Uh, sweet. Um, we'll go chuck. Alright, I have a decent amount of coal. Alright. We're going to go chuck a block of coal in here because that's a, that's a good amount of power. That's, I think it's worth 200,000 RF. And this is going to fill up pretty fast. So we're going to have to chuck some stuff in here very quickly. So we'll chuck in some iron. Like that. I think a block of coal is worth uh, 200,000 RF. Because I did have a survival world, which I <laughs> reset for this one. I really like this world though, and I really like the texture pack. Just checking really quick. Yeah, 200,000 RF at 40 RF per tick. Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah, we got the pulverizer. Now, what we could do really quickly though is we could also make a redstone furnace. Uh, do redstone furnace. Uh, need some more copper. Ah, dang it! I don't want to smelt this because I've already got the pulverizer now. All right, be back in a sec. I'm gonna wait till this iron is like completely pulverized. Chuck the copper in, and then uh, I'll smelt up the copper into some gears, and then we'll make the redstone furnace. Boom! Machine basic frame. Boom! There we go. A redstone furnace. Oh baby! I don't have any power. <laughs> okay, hold on. There we go. Block of coal. This should be good. That should power that. Oh, eventually. I think it powers this first, and then it powers this. Yep. Sweet to date. Um. Not actually sweet to date yet. Come on. You can. There we go. Ah, uh, beautiful. We can go. I don't know. What do we actually need in here? Um. Smelt my copper. There you go. That's we don't have to waste so much of coal anymore. We do need to go get some stuff uh, to actually smelt in like the furnace generator. Um, I could look into like a solar panel. I think that'd be really nice to have like a reliable source of power. Um, I don't think we'll go for like the solar expansion because these are just really expensive for what they do. Hmm. I mean, these I think are EU, yeah. I might look into actually doing some EU stuff uh, 
during the season because I do want to get into industrial craft because I've been going the RF route like so much. I think maybe going to uh, EU to do some of the stuff over there might be really cool. Although I'm um, again I'm still pretty um content with being in the RF maneuver. Uh, is there any other sort of generation? I don't think uh, mechanisms in here. No. So there's no turbine. Oh, there's like a steam turbine. There's like the big reactor stuff. I don't really want to <laughs> make a big reactor so early on. Um, no, there was an... I think there was an immersive engineering generator. Like the big water wheel. Yeah. How much do you produce? Do you produce like... I think you produce power. I'll read up really quickly and I'll be back in a second. Okay, I was able to look into immersive engineering and look at the... Uh, what is it? Kinetic dynamo, which you attach to either a water wheel or a windmill. Now, in order to do that, you need uh, some Cresio oil. Cresio? I think it's called Cresio. I was like a uh, joke on like evolution as well. Yeah, this oil, the uh, Creo Creosote. Creosote oil from Railcraft. And that requires a coke oven, so that's not something we're going to be doing anytime soon. Well, when I say anytime soon, I am probably mean like in the next two episodes or so. Don't hold me on that though. Um, yeah, so this has been a very good start to the series. Um, I've got... Oh, I also chucked down the uh, very beginning of our Tinker's Construct uh, Smeltery and Jazz. But yeah, it's been a very good start to this series where we've got ourselves a basic setup. We've got our a pulverizer, our redstone furnace, our furnace generator, we've got some materials like diamonds and such. Uh, what I'm going to have to do off camera is I'm going to have to go get more materials through mining and such. But that's going to be it for this episode guys. I hope you guys really enjoyed. And I'm hoping that this series is going to be very discovery based. Because I'm really looking forward to actually what we are going to be doing in this series. And it should be a lot of fun anyway. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know what we'll do next episode. If you have any ideas, then leave it in the comments. Otherwise, I'll just figure something up. Cheers for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Cheers for watching, and I hope you guys uh, have a great day.